Hey, what's up everyone in YouTube land or Ferris Editor in Chief here at the motherboards.org YouTube channel. So check it out. We've been bringing you a series of videos on Crossfire technology, which is basically taking two video cards from AMD, putting them together, combining them to make the power of a single super powerful card. So some people have questions about our test station and how we set this up. So our test station consists of an Intel i7-980X CPU. This is a Stream Edition CPU. We've also got 24 gigabytes of Kingston DDR3 memory. This is the triple channel memory. We're using an X58 motherboard by our friends at ASUS, and Kingston was good enough to provide us a couple of 128 gigabyte SSDs running in RAID mode. Now, when you're hooking up a Crossfire thing, some confusing questions might come up. A lot of people ask, should you use one or two Crossfire bridges? You should always use two Crossfire bridges. Using the two Crossfire bridges, make sure that the power is equally being combined between the two cards and that they're communicating properly. Also, if you're going to hook up more than two monitors, you're going to have to have DisplayPort adapters. Now, these adapters currently are about $109 to $149 online. You have to have a mini DisplayPort to VGA or DVI, whatever type of monitors you're using. I got the one that's main display port that's actually powered. So it uses USB power and it actually plugs in to the back of the display port and then use a DVI connector into the DVI monitors. Also real quick, if I can have the camera and pan, these are all of our monitors and these are the back of our three iFinity monitors. So a lot of people are probably gonna ask, they're gonna go, hey, why can't I just use, you know, a bunch of DVI connectors since I'm using two cards in crossfire mode. Well, A, you can only use one of the cards in your setup, which means that you can't combine the cables. You can't have half of your Ifinity setup on one card and half on the other. No, it does not work that way. Each card can support up to six different monitors, but you have to have, like I said, the main display port powered adapters that do these. So, well, what I've done is, for mine, I have three monitors. So I've used two DVIs and the main display port to DVI powered adapter for this. So these are some of the things just to take note of. Also, make sure if you have a power supply, that your power supply has enough to support these cards. Now the 6950s, they use two six pin power connectors in each card. So you wanna make sure that you have at least four six pin power connectors. So this is about it. Like I said, this is our test setup. This is our Ifinity monitor setup, and this is the Crossfire setup. So for those of you guys who've asked how we set it up, that's how you do it. There's also some things that you need to actually do inside of the control panel. When you go into the Catalyst control panel and it shows all three monitors, you want to make the center monitor your number one monitor, your monitor to the left monitor number two, and your monitor to the right number three. Now for our, for our display ports, we use 5040 by 900 because we have a 1600 by 900 resolution maximum on our monitors. But yours may be different and you just want to set that up in the control panel so when you go into your game, you just set it that way. So I hope this answers some of your questions. I appreciate all you guys watching the channel. And so this is basically how you go about setting up your Crossfire in Crossfire mode on a set of iFinity monitors. Thanks for watching.